Okay, so I want to try to make shading as simple as I can. So all I've done here is taken my circle stamp. I'll start from the very beginning. So I'm using my Disney style brushes that you can pick up on my website. Um, but for the most part, I'm just going to use a regular airbrush. So as long as you have an airbrush, it's fine. And you can draw a circle or you can use a circle stamp like my happy circle. So I changed the color of my background to a darker gray. I'm using my happy circle. And there you go. Now we have a circle. So in order to shade it, I'm just going to go a little bit darker and I'm going to go back to this layer. I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to hit alpha lock. So all alpha lock is, that just means that, let's say we choose a different color and we choose the airbrush. Alpha lock just means that whatever is on this layer is the only thing that we'll be able to color on. It's the only thing that we'll be able to affect is uh, something that we've made. So that's what alpha lock is. So now that this yellow circle is alpha locked, it doesn't matter if I color out here. The only thing that's going to matter, oops, make this bigger. The only thing that's going to matter is whatever is touching that yellow. Everything else is locked outside of it. So if we want to shade this, um, anything you want to shade, you can take the color of it and just go darker. So I'll just drag the color a little bit darker. Go to my airbrush. Make sure that you're alpha locked. And now I'll come back here and I'll make it kind of big. Now if you'll notice, I am going to color off of my circle. But that's because the airbrush is, is soft. So... See how big this airbrush is? So it's really big. So if I'm coloring here, the edges are going to, we're going to see the edges start to show on the circle. And I'm, I'm, I'm hardly putting any pressure on my Apple Pencil. I'm just moving in the same sort of distance. And then softly I come up over higher. And then move back down to the bottom really, really lightly. And you want to build this up. You don't want to do it in one swoop because then you're not going to be able to have this nice gradient here. How it, you know, you shouldn't see the line. This is a nice, is a nice shade. So the only thing that makes shading stronger is it just go a little bit darker with the color. So I'm going to make it a little bit darker. And now I'm going to go down here because this is the very bottom. If the light is hitting here, this would be in shadow. So I'm going to go a little darker down here. Again, you just want to layer up really softly, maybe up a little bit. Oops, see, I, made a, I accidentally made that little spot. I'm going to get rid of that and I'm just going to go back. You just have to be very careful. There we go. So now I'm going to go even darker and I'm going to do one last pass at the very bottom. Okay, so that looks okay. So now if you see a little bit of this, there's two things you can do. First, you can take your smudge tool and you can take the same airbrush. You can make it kind of big and you can sort of work it like this. You can just sort of smooth it out. You can move it around. So that's one way to do it. I'll show you another way in a second. So the next thing that I wanted to do, and this is when you start getting really fancy with shading, um, this part is dark, but we're gonna add this light part to the very bottom. This will give it that 3D look because um, there could be light bouncing off the floor, this and that. It's a visual thing that we understand because we see things in 3D. So this is why I'll do it. This is why I'm done doing this. So I've taken this light part, I've, I've lowered my, my brush a little bit, made it a little bit smaller. I'll lower the opacity too. Well, I don't have to lower the opacity that much. And now I'm just gonna make a nice soft 
I'm trying to try to stay even here. Even line along the bottom. And you can kind of see, you can kind of see that lightness coming through. There we go. There we go. So now we have that nice edge there. And if you feel like it's still a little muddy, like you can still see the edges, it's not smooth enough, another trick is to go to Adjustments, Gaussian Blur, and just give it a little blur. See, if you do a lot, it sort of just flattens it out. But very slightly, very slightly, just to kind of smooth everything out. So then you have a nice, you know, a really nice, um, a really nice sphere. And that's pretty much it. That's that's the basis of um, of shading. Uh, it's a good thing to practice. Another thing that's really fun to do is you can duplicate it. You can duplicate our sphere. You can make it smaller. You can put, let's say we put it on top here. So now we'll take this dark color and we'll make a shadow. So I'm gonna make a layer in between these two because this is gonna be our shadow. And I'm gonna take the airbrush and then I'm just gonna, I'll make it a little bit bigger. And now I'm just gonna do softly the same kind of way we did before just gonna softly, layer by layer, add this little shadow. You know, and things like that. So there's a lot of things that you can do to sort of make things, kind of make them 3D and have, have a little bit of that 3D effect. And it's really fun once you start uh, understanding shading, getting used to it, and things like that. And then you can, you know, eventually advance to uh, taking these same shapes and then you can even make them a little lighter you know you can do things like that you can make it really light up here almost to a white I'll raise the raise the opacity again oops oops how am I well I'm on the wrong sphere I was wondering why I wasn't seeing anything let me go back to my my base sphere here we go So there's a lot you can do. There's a whole lot you can do um, when it comes to shading. It's really not that difficult. Everything that you're gonna shade is essentially the way that we shaded these spheres. So just keep that in mind and it should be a big help as you start to shade more and more things. Also, I can't stress enough, draw from, draw from life, draw fruit, draw shapes, get building blocks, sketch those, that will give you a very, very firm understanding of shading and the way light works, and your artwork will vastly improve because of it. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching the video. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I do my live streams. Also, follow me on Instagram, Drug Free Dave, and Drug Free Dave 3D for all my new 3D work. Uh, I have a Facebook group, Procreate Tutorials and Guidance. And if you're interested in having me as your own personal art teacher, then be sure to check out my Skillshare classes at drugfreedave.com. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I will catch you all in the next video.